Hi guys, I'm doing a little Q&A video and I think it's gonna be a long video because I have over 200 plus questions so please grab a snack if you'd like and in the description I'm gonna put the time code so you can check the questions. Let's start with the first question. Skincare and makeup favorites. Currently my skincare favorite is the Lion Pear Cream. And I got it from an Instagram store. I'll put the handle right here. This is the next one. This is the Paula's Choice Exfoliant. And this did wonders on my skin, you guys. Like the blackheads, non-existent. I mean, yeah, there and the blackheads. And I used to have like dots and it's getting like I used to have a lot of dot dot dots like tiny dots and it's like reducing you shouldn't like over exfoliate your skin so i use it three four times a week i would say yeah are you a summer or a winter girl this is a hot question because i do like winters but i would say that i'm a summer girl just because the weather is nice and yeah i love winters too Especially, I love layering outfits and I love the outfits that I wear during the winters but honestly like my mood is much better during the summers so I would say that I am a summer girl <laughs> anyways yeah but I thrive during the winters and summers but no, whatever what part of you do you love the most character prospect I would say that I am pretty loyal in terms of relationships as well as friendships. I think I'm like ride or die type of person and like I think it would take a huge betrayal for me to lose respect for somebody. So yeah, I think I'm pretty loyal. How are you doing? I think I'm doing pretty fine. November was alright but I've been home for six months and I don't know, it's just the stagnant feeling that I have that I'm not doing, I'm not making the most out of my life, I feel like, especially when my friends are already uh, pursuing their masters and whatnot, but I'm still waiting for things to fall into place, but yeah, so I just feel very stagnant right now, but I would say that I'm pretty, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, like, Honestly, I'm not happy every every single day, but I try to be happy. I try to stay positive as much as I can. Obviously, you can't be happy all the time because that's just not like it just isn't real. You can't be happy all the time. So obviously, I do feel sad sometimes, and it, I just sit with my feelings. Yeah, that's just what I do. But right now, I'm doing pretty good. I wouldn't say that I'm thriving, but I think I'm doing pretty good. Next vlog when? So I'm gonna post this Q&A vlog separately because I don't want to mix this vlog with the usual vlogs that I make. And yeah, and the next question that I got a lot is like, what is my goal right now? And I think my goal right now is to be consistent on YouTube and like hitting 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year i don't think that's possible but i think we can do try right but i also don't want to post like every single week because i feel like my quality of the videos is won't be that good i think the quality of my videos is gonna degrade because it's hard to um find content so yeah but anyways, I just try to be more consistent on YouTube. That's just my goal for the time being. Like my small goal, I would say. And the next question is from Bangshin. If the world was ending tomorrow, how would you spend your last day on Earth? I think it would be probably with my friends and family. Yeah, I think I would spend my last day with probably my family and friends. Just having like maybe dinner together and laughing and making jokes maybe somewhere in on the beach yeah somewhere like that 
and at night we could do like fireworks because I really like fireworks although it's not like good for the environment but yeah I think it would be pretty simple I think I would spend my last like if the day was if, if the world was ending tomorrow I would probably spend my last day with my friends and family yeah pick five friends to be stranded on an island with it would be you function uh yuren isha michelle and sarda because she's pretty fun like sarda is also pretty fun so I, I would say like sarda if you could be anyone for a day then who would you be and why i think i would be probably a bird because i want to know what it feels like to have wings and just like fly you know yeah, I just want to fly, I guess. Not on an, on an airplane, but like to have my own wings, I guess. How was college life in DU? It was great. It was fantastic. It was spectacular. It was everything. Honestly, it was the best years of my life, I would say. Honestly, that sounds a bit like cliche, but yeah, it was. My life, um, my life inside college was not very happening, but outside college, like with my friends, I used to hang out a lot. And yeah, I would say it was pretty fun to hang out with friends and meeting new people, especially. And also inside the college, my college is pretty safe and it's all girls, so you can wear whatever you like without feeling judged. So yeah, it was pretty nice. I like my college. College life was great. Next question is, do you like older men? That's such a weird question, but obviously I am attracted to men who are elder to me, but my limit would be 27 or 20, 27 to 20, 27 to 26. Like, I wouldn't date someone who is above 28, like, it's fine. Like, to, to, till 28, it's fine, but like, above 30, it's like, no uncle so i would say like 30 is the limit next question is are you pursuing masters um i did think about pursuing masters but no i'm not pursuing masters but i did think about it and maybe later in life i will pursue I, I will like do something like get a master's degree but right now i'm not pursuing masters I got this question a lot of times and it is how to be comfortable in your own body also I love your content thank you honestly confidence is also something that I struggle with not gonna lie but as compared to when I was in like lockdown 2020 I think I'm much more confident and it's definitely because of trying especially because um, seeing my friends like I have a lot of friends who are very confident and just by seeing them like i feel confident too and it and i think it's really important to have people that um help you grow as a person so i think my biggest advice would be to try just try being confident and who knows like you can you can be great at it but it's also something that like i'm building my confidence and it's a learning process like it's a process and i think it's a journey so i would say that i'm also in this process of developing my communication skills and you know just talking to people and this question is how to be comfortable in your own body i think just by acknowledging the fact that you are your own like you are an individual and no one is like you in this world and you have your own set of beliefs and you have your own unique features before i think i used to struggle with confidence because i used to center my lack of knowledge or my introvertedness because i felt like i wasn't smart enough or i wasn't what to say i thought like i was dumb basically and i also like genuinely believe that confidence cannot be achieved 
instantly like you need to practice it's a process it builds up over time so yeah i think yeah just like be try to be confident if you like stop centering your self-esteem based on how you look and just focus on the qualities that you have for example you could have a great sense of humor or you could be great at math which i'm not and yeah yeah just like stop centering your self-confidence or self-esteem like on your looks i know like it's uh, easier said than done because looks matters a lot it's the sad reality and it does matter a lot but to be self-confident i feel like you need to have your own like thing that you're passionate not. yeah i think just by being yourself advice on how to forget someone like i'm a hopeless romantic i don't know how to answer this question because i haven't really forgotten anyone in my life as far as the people i've met I remember each and every one because I like to remember people and I don't know but why would you wanna unless they hurt you like real bad I think you should definitely block them or you should yeah just no contact just block them and anything that reminds you of them I think you should like keep it aside and just store it in a box or like in a cupboard or whatever i think that would that would be my advice a lot of you guys are asking me for advices but i'm not the best when it comes to advices but yeah i'm just saying the, these things out of experience so i don't know how to give you advice on how to forget someone but i'm so sorry but i'm sure there are a lot of like other things that you can do to forget someone maybe like distract yourself i guess where do you buy your clothes from i get my clothes from i guess you guys already know like i shop a lot from zara why is my face like so i get my clothes from zara and although it's not the most sustainable thing to do yeah and i don't like buy every single month i don't have money like that i just try to buy the things that are basic and that i can wear and like match with the other outfits that i have i also wear a lot of my like old or uh, my mom's or my aunt's old clothes yeah and back when i was in delhi i used to wear my friend's clothes uh, when you feel like you don't have enough clothes to wear, I think it's a great idea to incorporate your friend's, your friend's outfit, your friend's closet. Yeah, I think you should like switch, especially if you have friends that have like similar taste, fashion taste like you. I think it would be great to just switch clothes, you know. And definitely, yeah, I used to wear my friends, and yeah, most importantly, like I thrift. I wear a lot of thrifted items because I. Because I think like they are unique. Like in my previous video, I wore the leopard print that is thrifted. And I'm sure you guys already know there are a lot of like Instagram thrifted pages. What major did you take? I took history honors. What are you up to recently? Recently I'm up to baking. And I think it's my new hobby now. Because uh, it distracts me a lot. It keeps me away from my thoughts. Obviously, I do like to think, but not... I want to be thoughtful, but I don't want to be consumed by thoughts. So, I just like to have something to do, you know? And, yeah, I've just been, like, baking a lot. I think you guys can hear the inverter running. I'm so sorry for the noise, but, like, yeah. Recently, I'm filming uh, what I eat in a video, so I'm gonna post that. Yeah, just that, I guess. How was your first kiss? Mine was so icky. Um, I just hope my family is not watching this because it would be really embarrassing. 
But my first kiss was when I was 17. It was, I think, in 20, 20, 2020 or 2029, 20, 2019. I was really naive, but it wasn't like bad. It was a good kiss. Yeah, it was a, it was a good kiss. <gasps> but like, yeah, whatever. Let's move on. Honestly, I want to elaborate on that more. So my first kiss was, it was good honestly i felt a bit like uncomfortable at first because it was very unusual to have someone's like lips to have someone else's like you know lips touching my <laughs> it wasn't weird to be honest it wasn't weird at all like it was a natural it was a natural like you know when guys like they lean in to kiss you and they're like bro that shit is so funny that's the funniest shit like ever vlog in public and i want to see their reaction because you are too gorgeous please thank you right now i'm not really going out as much i like to stay at home because i don't have a lot of friends here and yeah i can't really uh ask my parents to film for me I think if my brother was here, I would definitely ask him to do that. But he is doing his job and whatever. And yeah. But I would definitely like try to film outside in public. Especially when I'm back in Delhi or maybe to a different city. What are your new goals right now? My new goals is, is to be consistent. I think I've answered this before, but to hit, I'm to hit like 10,000 subscribers. Will you come to Mumbai again? Uh, definitely, yes, I will come to Mumbai. Maybe in the future, not right now, because I don't have any work to do. I think Mumbai has a lot of good like cafes and hanging out spots. It is definitely expensive, but... Yeah, I think it's a great place to go with your friends. Oh my god, yeah. It just reminded me of my Mumbai trip. It was like, so good, you guys. But yes, definitely, I'll, I will visit Mumbai again. My workout. My workout is... I try to work out at least 30 minutes. And to stay motivated is just like to tell myself that it's just like 20 minutes workout, you know? I endlessly scroll through my phone for hours and hours and like 20 minutes is nothing. And I think it's a great thing to move your body for even, if, even for at least like 10 minutes or like 20 minutes. 20 minutes like hit workout. I don't know, but I do a lot of ab exercises. I don't really have abs, but... Fitness tips. A lot of you guys have been asking me for fitness tips. Exercise daily. I try to work out at least four... At least three or four times a week. If I don't want to work out, then I don't work out. Especially during my periods, I don't work out at all. I think to eat a pretty healthy food, it is important to treat yourself like every other day but you know just balance the food that you're having i ha eat a lot of home cooked meals which are already healthy to begin with so yeah i think that's just my tips for you all and the most important tip like i've recently realized is to eat meals on time when i used to go to college i didn't have any time management and my Eating schedule was really fucked up and it used to cause a lot of bloating but now especially when I'm home I eat my meals like, on time because my family obviously like we eat together and we do eat like on time it has significantly like reduced my bloating I would say like almost to 80% like my bloating is gone just imagine before like back in college Right after I woke up, I used to be bloated for no reason. Even without having 
breakfast i used to be bloated it used to make me so mad like i used to be so furious but right now like even after having a meal like i do get bloated it's normal to have like bloated belly but okay i'm not as bloated i as i used to be before especially after having meal and my timings are like breakfast i eat around 10 or 9 a.m yeah i, I either start my day with like tea or coffee and then i move to breakfast around 10 around 1 to 2 i eat my lunch and then again at i would say 4 4 to 5 i have my evening snacks or like tea and dinner i eat pretty early which is 7 to sometimes even 6 30 because during winters it, re it gets really cold out here so that we can straight away go to bed and like just lie in bed you know so i would say the biggest tip i would give you is like to have your meals on time yeah and just overall like eat a pretty healthy diet try to stay away if no i won't say that but like whatever yeah just indulge yourself in guilty pleasures too in terms of food i mean but like in moderation you know find a workout that you want to do and which really motivates you which gives you the kind of push because sometimes when i see when i see other influencers or someone just who has a great body and when you ask them for their routine for their workout routine and it normally isn't very i would say that i wouldn't really like their workout routine because sometimes it's very hard so i just like to find a workout that really works for me pick your icon my icons i think it would probably be keanu reeves and matthew mcconaughey keanu reeves especially like keanu keanu i think i'm probably butchering his name but i think he's a really interesting person and his personality is great especially like his background i think he had a pretty bad childhood and just his overall personality he's really humble and down to earth and i really like him and matthew mcconaughey i think his approach to life is also really great so i think he's also one of my icons and his movies are just so good one advice that work in life advice from my brother he told me this recently which is to adapt improvise and learn adapt to new surroundings or new environment to improvise on things whatever like life throws at you whatever lemons life throws at you is to you you have to improvise the last thing is to learn from those experiences i think this advice really works as far as my experiences so yeah i would say that you should adapt improvise and learn height 170 centimeters i'm 57 I'm 5'7. Just have you played dress to impress? I feel like you'd rock it. No, I haven't played dress to impress. I've but I've seen a lot of girls on my Instagram posting on their stories. But since you think that I would rock this game, I would definitely try it out. Next is What are your plans for further studies? I currently don't have any plans love your edits so much how do you upload any songs without getting copyrights so 90 percent of my videos are copyrighted i think you can find songs on the youtube audio library which is free of use like you you won't get any co copyright strike there are a lot of websites that give you songs but you need to pay them so it's a big issue that like 90% of my videos are copyrighted. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to show you a screenshot. What's your MBTI personality type? MBTI is an INFJ advocate. Let's read about it. INFJ is a personality type with the introverted, intuitive, feeling and judging traits. And it also says INFJs are often interested in finding true love, which I think is so true because I am looking for true love. 
what to tell at the salon to get the exact hair color as you is absolutely gorgeous thank you i'm so sorry to tell you guys but i don't know what my hair color is because my god fucking hair is making so much noise yeah but i don't really know my hair color because when i went to when i went to do my hair they just like showed me the chart and it was actually the hairdresser who recommended me this hair color and she just like showed me the chart and i just like i just like trusted her and i didn't really ask what the hair color was also because i was like i wasn't bothered to ask what the hair color was but definitely i will ask for you guys when i go there to do my roots I'll also take the picture of the chart. Is how to feel beautiful like you do. How to. I mostly feel beautiful when I'm myself. Yeah, just when I'm myself. Like when I'm more myself. I really like myself. When I'm myself. <laughs> Obviously, I don't feel beautiful every single day, and that is okay. Obviously, I do find myself like comparing to other girls. It's a universal fact that there will always be someone who will be better than you, who will be beautiful than you, and who will be smarter than you. But I also like to keep in mind that I'm my own individual, and nobody has the qualities like I do, and there are seven billion people in this world and you are just one of them just just imagine how how special and just knowing that you are the only one how special it is to know that you can just build your own life <laughs> you guys like what the hell am i saying but yeah i think <laughs> i can't stop laughing at my own answers but like yeah just believing in yourself your cute self just knowing the fact that you are the only one i think that's really special to know that you're the only one in this world and no one is like you i think that may help you to feel beautiful what is my next plan i'm gonna be honest and say what i'm gonna do it might surprise a lot of people and it's gonna, I think, leave a lot of judgments too. But I'm planning to join Emirates next year. Obviously, if the odds are in my favor, I will get in. Because the interview is really hard to pass through. But like, yeah, I know, granted, that I went to a reputed college. Cabin crew is basically like a waiter's job, right? is waitress job right it isn't the most high level job as per society standards it isn't the most high level job but the pay is good but i hope like i hope you guys won't judge me for the decision that i've made my parents are definitely fine with what i want to do like i've made them clear now i want to do this because it's been a dream of mine to be honest, to join Emirates ever since I was a kid. And I've been telling ever since, like as long as I can remember, I've been telling that I want to join Emirates. So yeah, I'm just following my heart right now. Like, my answer is going to leave a lot of judgments, but I think as long as I'm happy, I think it's fine. And I'll, I'm also aware of the fact that it isn't the most stable job. It's just for five to six years, I guess, this cabin crew services, and then you could potentially be unemployed. But honestly, for now, like, I think, I think it'll be fine. Maybe I'll learn to do business <laughs> later in life, but for now, I think that is my thing. Plans after graduation, so yeah, I'm just waiting for the interview. I'm gonna go to the interview like next year hopefully so that is my plans for now single or double 
feeling so cold you guys <clears throat> let's drink some water water break i'm currently single i have been single for through two years now if god gave you a chance to spend a day however you like then how would you spend it i think i would like to spend my day alone however i like it mm, i don't know i'm a simple girl you guys like however i like it maybe a day in italy like i want to experience the italian summer life perhaps one day i will but yeah i think it would be a day in like italy somewhere in italy somewhere in northern france like the call me by a name kind of like thing if you could marry a movie anime character who would it be i think anime would probably be gojo from jujutsu kaisen because he's really like funny and attractive and it would probably be gojo movie actors i don't really know because everyone is so problematic these days so i don't really know movies no one i guess if you could be someone for a day who would who would it be i think i've already answered this question right yeah i think i would be a bird one night day you want to relive again i think most of you have like watched my mumbai vlog it was probably the bridge that we crossing thing you know it was just like really it was really magical that night i think just the atmosphere and the ambience was so good like the music was playing and you know the car was moving really fast and goding was his hand like he had his head outside the window which is not good by the way but we were careful obviously and it just felt like a movie scene you know so i think i would like would love to relive that moment that night was it's just a great experience if god granted you a wish what would it be i think that's between me and god because you shouldn't really <laughs> i'm sorry but like yeah i think it's between me and god one thing that you would do if you could change the past i wouldn't really do anything to change my past because the person that I am right now is because of the experiences that I've had in the past and I would change nothing about my past. Everything that I went through, either good or bad, I think it helped me a lot, especially the bad ones. I think it helped me grow as a person a lot and I think, I think it helped me like know myself better. Everything that I've been through, it has helped me with a lot of things. Especially like decision making wise. What movie anime character you think best describes your personality according to you? I think it would probably be Hachiko from the anime Nana. Because I really like her and her personality. I think I resemble not all but like some traits are similar. Because she's very like naive. She falls into traps by people especially men and i think yeah definitely me too but now i'm not as naive as i used to be favorite youtuber apart from yourself noah maria i think she's from sweden if i'm not wrong yeah her videos are really com comforting i think she inspires me other youtubers that i really like not my favorite but some YouTubers that I really like is like Ruby Lin. Fashion wise, I, I'd say like Lengi Ozark. I also watch Twins and the Other Girl. I, I, I really like Tinku. I think she has a great personality. So I also watch Emily Starr. And I watch a lot of commentary, YouTube videos, documentaries, or like crime prod podcasts current shows you are watching i'm currently watching the empress dan the dan it's a great anime it's really funny and nice i was watching it with my brother while he was here and it's a nice anime i'm also watching the vikings right now because i like this like empire 
fighting kind of like shows as compared to rom-com before i used to watch a lot of rom-coms but lately like i haven't really watched how do you deal with depressive days when you don't want to do anything i think journaling writing my thoughts down listening to music or maybe just like talking to somebody who's close to you before i wasn't very open to my friends i wasn't very close i used to guard myself a lot because i felt like a burden no i didn't really feel like a burden but i felt like i don't know sometimes i just like to keep a part of myself to myself yeah but ever since like my breakup i got close to my friends a lot and they helped me a lot i'm so fucking grateful to them because they helped me distract my mind off of things honestly they taught me a lot of things so i'm really grateful for my friends i consider myself very lucky to have met them i i also like cry a lot when i'm feeling depressed it's been a long time since i've cried because these days i'm not really that depressed feel what you're feeling i would say it won't be as heavy on your shoulders after crying it feels lighter in your heart when you talk things out to your friends and what's the one incident that has the biggest impact on you and in 2022 when i got dengue in delhi i was staying in a paying guest with you then and suddenly i got dengue and i think it was really like it just was very shocking to me because i took my life for granted and it just made me like appreciate life more appreciate health more you know because i felt i really felt like i was gonna die like you didn't know what i went through god for a bit nothing happened i'm just really grateful to you then too because she helped me a lot i literally thought i was gonna not make it and i i called my mom i was at the hospital and i called my mom and i was like i was crying over the phone and i told her like you just come here cuz like you know i might not make it and even my mom like she started crying but yeah i'm alive right now so it's after that i feel like life is so precious and you shouldn't take it for granted and i try to live my life uh, the other incident that probably had an impact on my life is my breakup it changed me as a person in a lot of ways especially in terms of naivety and in terms of boundaries cuz i was the type of person before who didn't have any boundaries leave alone self respect and i have definitely changed a lot how many relationships have you had believe it or not but i've only had one relationship until now i'm someone with really high standards and it's not really in my nature to date someone just for the lols you know just casual dating like no that's why i have been single for 2 years now and also it was the first relationship i've only had one and it was my first boyfriend right so after that experience like my standard my the bar is too high right now hence i'm still single <laughs> it doesn't bother me guys trust me i do feel really sad angry when i see other couples but sometimes i'm also like i'm really happy that i'm single you know sometimes Cause you just have this freedom to do whatever you like, just not having to worry about what the other person might think. Favorite movie? Currently, my favorite movie is The Holiday, cause it's like Christmas vibes, and I really like the storyline. Also, actors are great. I'm currently putting this. My thoughts on this is don't get it, cause. I think there are better lip glosses out there, but the cons, 
it outweighs the pros because let me tell you about this first of all it's really sticky like it feels like you put on glue and i don't like the burning sensation when you put it in your mouth and the taste is like minty some people might not like that and it, it is definitely not hydrating and it piles the if you put like lip tint or if you put like lipstick and if you put this on top it's gonna pile it's gonna have like a rubbery rubbery on your if you know what i mean so like yeah just don't don't get it i'm just waiting for this to get over when are you getting married i am getting married when i turn probably 28 or 29 definitely not after i turn 30 because i think 30 is a bit old for me but like i don't know why i don't like the age 30 you guys but like yeah i'm definitely getting married when i find a husband my diet before i say anything about diet i want to give a heads up that i am not a dietitian first of all and i'm also not an influencer so i don't wanna i don't really wanna give advices on dietary terms because it may like trigger a lot of people but like yeah since you want to know what i eat i eat a lot of beef i eat rice every day i think i eat a pretty simple like diet like roti and for breakfast i eat like mostly i eat like roti or like fried rice or like leftovers from dinner from the night before i also love like eating fruits no matter what the weather is like especially like seasonal fruits such as like mango or oranges i love oranges and that also helps me like um curb the sweet cravings that i have but i also do like to indulge myself such as like ramen or cakes or chocolates something like that because i have the most biggest sweet tooth on this entire planet i love dairy products like cheese and milk since my acne like flares up a lot i don't eat that much so i try to avoid i eat daily but i eat like in small like, in smaller amounts like in my especially like in my tea tmi i have like constipation i think it's probably because of eating too much like meat and everything comes with a price i pretty much love eating all vegetables how many siblings do you have i have an elder brother he is four years elder to me and he has a job now so he's not here he is in chennai we do talk to each other like we do have this sister brother bond and he sends me money too so especially since he has a job now we do catch up on things what's your dream job my dream job would probably be yeah owning a cafe owning a cafe or a restaurant but i know it's a fact that it's really hard running a restaurant perhaps in the future i will own a cafe one day so babe what's the future plan now i love your vlogs and i love you hopefully if things are in my favor and if my fate aligns with what i want to do then yeah i guess i'll just be with emirates what's your type in a man i prefer tall men so definitely someone who's tall someone who respects boundaries someone whose values aligns with mine someone who's compatible with me and someone who has a great sense of humor too someone who's just really passionate about what they want to do for example filming like accounting one thing that i icks me the most is like boring people i i literally can't stand like someone who's boring like i cannot date someone who's boring also i would like to add that definitely someone who loves me for who i am and not because of what i can do for them yeah i think that's pretty much my type also love you you're a baddie 
thank you how old are you what are your future plans when did you get into modeling i am 21 years old when did i get into modeling was six months ago when i had a shoot with max fashion i think that was the first time that i ever did like modeling it was a great experience but modeling isn't a career path that i want to go towards so like yeah i think it was just like a freelance thing kind of thing like I don't want to make it into a career thing, you know? So what are your favorite films? My top favorites are Interstellar, Call Me By Your Name, Dallas Bias Club, all of like Christopher Nolan's movies. I think they're great. Parasite. I do love Parasite as well. I think it's a great movie. I really love a lot of movies, but I don't really remember the names. I like that Dead Poet Society too. It's really really good movie. what do you love the most about your hometown uh it's probably my family i don't really like the weather here because it's very uh it's very cold here and it's definitely very foggy i do love a foggy day but every day it's very depressing and sad you know so no probably be the fresh produce like the fresh vegetables and just the locally uh food things such as like kinema and churpi and ningro what is the best restaurant or cafe in darjeeling and i think it depends like what do you want to eat because like each and every restaurant have a different like speciality for example if you want to eat like nepalese food there is a different restaurant and if you want to eat like chinese or tibetan food like you can go to kunga or if you want to eat like Thai food or Chinese food, you can go to the park. Or something like Americanized food like pizza or mac and cheese and stuff like that. You can have it in um, Glenary's restaurant. There's also like KFC and Domino's. And the best, I wouldn't say they're the best because I'm the biggest critique when it comes to food. Although I'm not like a chef or a cook. But I do have a great sense of taste, if I say so myself. But the one thing that I would like to say is that they're really affordable and tasty too. What are you studying? I'm not studying anything right now. How to be confident? I still wear mask to hide my face. It's been four years. I think you should just try not wearing the mask. Of It's very easy for me to say this, but... Yeah, I think just try not wearing the mask, I would say. Where do you get background music for your vlogs? Really needed help. Uh, like I said before, I use the YouTube music studio. Or sometimes I also like to screen record like songs from Spotify. Like some people put really good songs in their oh, Instagram reels, you know. That was such a fake yawn, but... I was really trying to learn you guys and just like by watching other people's youtube videos and i just like sajam 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 what's your astrology big three my sun is scorpio my moon is libra and rising is taurus are you buddhist yes i am buddhist which salon did you get your hair dyed from i got it dyed from if you know where burger cartel is it's beside the building like it's called lady hajam what is the biggest advice you'd give to your teen self i think the biggest advice i would give to my teen self is to not to shy away from people and to just participate in things like debate because honestly i was i was really interested in things like debate or like you know something that would that was out there on the stage thing i definitely had stage fright i still do tell myself that to not not fear of others opinion and it's okay to have like a preference which is different from others it's okay to have a different perspective what clothes clothing sites do you prefer uh, i like shopping from mintra as well but hardly from mintra what is your love life like? I don't have a love life right now because I am currently single. How long have you been journaling for? I've been journaling for three to four years now. 
and i would also like to add that i don't journal every day when you give yourself like something to do every day it becomes a task it becomes like a job and i don't want like journaling to be that journaling is kind of like an escape for me in a manner so like i try to journal every once in a while not every day though who are your closest friends uh michelle isha yuren bangshin sarda niharika favorite memory from college uh, it was, I don't remember the professor's name, but she was a very, not, not the best professor, I would say. But yeah, I was in the back, in the back bench with Michelle. We were like reading, a no we were both me reading our own novels and she was teaching. While she was teaching, we were reading novels. I know it's a bad thing, but she came at the back and she took both of our novels and it was really funny because I don't know, she just gave a long speech. Uh, it was it was really funny at that time. I think that is probably my favorite memory. I think Michelle also remembers that day. We talk about it a lot when we meet. Shouldn't say her name, but yeah, she did return them at the end of the day. But do you ever get tanned? If you do, how do you remove it? Uh, I haven't really got tanned, especially because I live in a cold place and the sun here is not that not that strong i would say i did get tanned one time in my life and that was like when i went to kerala with my family it was a long time back but the tan it it faded it faded on its own i didn't even do anything i didn't even notice it until the people pointed it out what's your favorite horror movie my favorite horror movie is probably the insidious insidious or insidious conjuring part one are you manipuri no i'm not manipuri i'm nepali when are you coming back to delhi i'm coming back to delhi this january i'm meeting my friends what is something that you are addicted to i'm the type of person who don't really get addicted like i said before in my previous vlogs i'm the type of person who gets obsessed with one thing for a period of time and then i get like bored of it and i just like forget about it and that is something that i need to really work on i feel like so i'm not really addicted to but right now what i'm obsessed with is hmm, making making matcha in the morning thinking of moving out the country yeah definitely i would like to move out of the country i don't really know what it's like to live outside of india because i haven't really been outside i don't know what life is out there you know so i would like to experience like first and then decide if whether i want to move there or not what do you want to be in future i want to get to a point in life where i can do what anything on a whim how many meals a day three meals a day and snacks in between what's your weight I'm not answering that question. How is your iPhone still in good condition? Honestly, I don't know how it's still in good condition because I've had this phone for almost like five years now and it's still like working pretty much like fine. It isn't the best. I did change the battery once and also the screen because one time I broke my entire screen. I had to change it. So yeah, but I'm planning to get a new iPhone soon, so yeah. What editing app, website do you use for YouTube videos? I use uh, VLLO and also DaVinci Resolve. It's pretty uh, difficult to use DaVinci Resolve, but I'm, 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 I'm learning. Where are you from? I'm from Darjeeling. So Darjeeling is a district and it has a lot of towns. And I live in one of those towns. Your metro pic is so famous on Pinterest. Those photos went viral because of the top. Because everyone in the comments were asking about the top. Like, where is it from? It is my aunt's old clothes. What course did you graduate? History honors. Your hair care routine. I don't really have a hair care routine. 
and i don't even oil my hair i hate to break it to you guys but i think like having a good hair it really comes down to like jeans but i use the l'oreal shampoo the absolute repair one the one that is in beige color conditioner i use the sun silk pink one it's love your style where did you buy all the jeans you wear mostly are from zara and american eagle american eagle but the men's jean not the women the men's jean why don't you talk about your father in your vlog only talk about your mother that's because i don't really get along with my dad that much and it, it's not because i don't love him obviously i do love him but i get along with my mom a lot please do more outfit videos i will do uh, what i eat in a day and what i wear in a week videos where did you get your pink ballet shoes from please let me know i got it from mintra it's from mango you though i will suggest you is to not buy them because first of all they're very uncomfortable and i got shoe bites but if you want to buy it for fashion then please go ahead but i got it from mintra fashion icon bella hadid i guess you seeing anyone no i'm not seeing anyone right now but i would love to see someone <laughs> just kidding how to overcome heartbreak my boyfriend of the three years ghosted before that he said he regretted being with me oh my god i don't know if you've heard this before but you can say a lot about a person by how they leave a relationship it's just the thing that he said to you i think it speaks a lot about his character so i think keeping in mind that he is a really bad person you should like move on try to move on i think you should like really sit back try to evaluate your decisions think like why did you choose him in the first place because for someone to say such a shitty thing like that like he must have a really bad personality or he must be a really bad person overcome heartbreak is i would like to suggest to you is to not to forget how they made you feel also remember that the reason why he said that he regretted being with you is because he's insecure he's trying to make himself feel better about himself and he's trying to not feel guilty for how he made you feel honestly my biggest advice to you would be to forgive yourself for the decision that you made and that is being with him and the second is that to forgive him as well because uh, I think holding resentment can hurt you a lot and it can be difficult to move on if you hold resentment so just like forgive them and just move on with your life obviously you will find someone who's better who's 10 times better than him most importantly like forgive yourself Forgive yourself for all the hurt that you've been through and all the shit that you put yourself through. Uh, forgive but never forget. That is the biggest advice. For further studies, where are you planning to go? I haven't decided. Crush. I don't really have a crush on anyone right now. Your cousin is so pretty. Okay, I will let her know that. It's getting really dark in here how do you deal with the fear of being perceived if you have it honestly i just like to remind myself that no one is thinking about me because most of the time people are only thinking about themselves i think just by reminding myself that everyone has their own opinions and at the end of the day it's just the end of the day you know it doesn't matter <laughs> a room tour please i'm honestly thinking of renovating my room actually we're gonna renovate the whole house so i will give you an updated room tour when everything is renovated but you guys have to wait for almost a year for that because it's gonna take a lot of time have you ever encountered any ladakhi your opinion on ladakh by the way love ladakh no i haven't encountered any ladakhi and uh as of now 